Our time of confession and assurance is brought to us from Numbers chapter 21, verses 4 to 9, in which we read these words about the people of Israel and, in a way, about ourselves. They traveled from Mount Hor along the route to the Red Sea to go around Edom, but the people grew impatient on the way. They spoke against God and against Moses and said, Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? There's no bread, there's no water, and we detest this miserable food. Then the Lord sent venomous snakes among them. They bit the people and many Israelites died. The people came to Moses and said, We sinned when we spoke against the Lord and against you. Pray that the Lord will take the snakes away from us. So Moses prayed for the people. The Lord said to Moses, Make a snake and put it up on a pole. Anyone who is bitten can look at it and live. So Moses made a bronze snake and put it up on a pole. Then when anyone was bitten by a snake and looked at the bronze snake, they lived. Brothers and sisters, how many times are we ungrateful for God's provision? Even when the situation seems dark and dire to us, nonetheless, God provides. How many times have we spurned the God's provision? I remember as a child being fed Brussels sprouts. We called them grossal sprouts. But really, my parents were providing for me, just as God provides for us. Sometimes we don't appreciate that provision, and when we don't, we lose our way a bit. Let us come to God in confession. Father in heaven, we know, we know, O oh God, that this is not just about Brussels sprouts, but that sometimes we sneer at your provision for us, or we feel that we have been hard done by, whether it is with regards to those practical, physical needs that we have, or whether it is reg regards to our spiritual circumstances, O oh God, we confess that there are many times where we either take for granted what you have given, or when we outright reject it and belittle it. O oh God, please Forgive us for that. And please, as we take a few moments to examine our hearts through the power of your Spirit, bring to mind those times where we have taken for granted your provision and help us to confess them to you now. O oh Lord, as I examine my heart, I know that it is true that I too have taken for granted your blessings. The blessings of our home and our family, of the food on our table, of the warmth and comfort of our home of transportation to get here and there. I have taken for granted my job, my calling. I have taken for granted how you have taken care of me and your scriptures, how they feed me, and your spirit 
who lives within me. And I know, O oh God, that I am not alone in that. And so, Lord, thank you for hearing our prayer and for providing your salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. It is a weird sort of metaphor for us, a little bit uncomfortable perhaps, but the, the, the snake that Moses puts up on a pole for people to see is uh, biblically, theologically, somewhat symbolic of Christ our Lord. Not that Christ is a serpent, but rather that He too was put up on a pole, on a cross for our salvation. And when we look to Him, we are saved. And so let us receive and sing joyfully in our hearts in response to His salvation. Because He lives. We, sung, we sang this yesterday uh, together with uh, the Vanderklutes and uh, it is a beautiful thing. The reality is that we are saved because He lives.